Salutations, everyone! This is Mind Reader Productions, and I'll be reacting to Brawl of the Objects, Episode 10, Unexpected Expedition. I'm so glad this episode is finally out, and it's gonna be a very wondrous one. I can tell already. Recapping Party at Shieldy, Slurpee, Shelly, Pizza, Hot Dog, Chocolate, Baguette, and Boat are left in the game. And. One of them's going to be eliminated. Sadly, I already know who's going to be eliminated. But for the sake of things, um, I'm not going to tell you guys. Thing is, I'm actually a member of the wiki, so every time someone makes a change to the wiki, I can see it when I check my email. Anyways, Pizza's speaking to everyone else on Team Chocolate. Well, who used to be on Team Chocolate, now there are no more teams. Anyways, let's see what happens. So, what was it like for you guys while I was gone? Well, we did manage to outnumber Team Vanilla at one point, and we did okay in challenges. Oh, and Big Orange Chicken joined us too! Yeah, I've been meaning to ask, who is Big Orange Chicken exactly? I barely got to meet him, and he wasn't giving me very direct answers to whatever I asked him. Uh, who are you? <coughs> Excuse me? <coughs> is there something wrong with you? <coughs> Can you oh. give me any other answer besides box? Oh. I forgot to tell you guys. Yeah, Big Orange Chicken is just... I have limited time. He's just a good chicken. Okay, so did anything else happen while I was gone? Because I'm planning oh, to go to this dinner. But I know there's enough time because... You replaced me? Oh, not like that. Controller just randomly chose me to be the new team captain one challenge because Team Chocolate This episode everything. is less than 20 really minutes, so I know it's gonna work. Alright then. Anyways, it wasn't the same without you. Thanks. <laughs> hey, I- I'm wondering why the screen's smaller. I'm surprised that he's starting to use Flash. I wish I was just like that. Does anyone know how I can get Flash? Hey Shelly, um, now that Pop Cookie's out, what was that big thing all about the last time we saw her? Oh, um... Oh, hey, the friendship group. Well, since I know I can trust you, I was part of this friendship group thing with the other girls, but it wasn't exactly an alliance, more of a thing to get our minds off of the game. I tried to ask for you to join too, but Pop Cookie was just too overpowering, and I don't think he liked you a lot for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got that impression too, but those it lasted longer than her in the end. Want to know what else is true? Somebody is about to be eliminated. Let's get to the elimination ceremony. Okay. Elimination. <laughs> wow, nine people are going to be up for elimination. Someone's or eight if vote doesn't count. Their the most ever. Congratulations on having the merge. Welcome back to the elimination, everyone. Soon enough, we'll be going from the final nine to the final eight, as one of you is about to be eliminated. Anyways, this time we got a whopping 621 votes in total. As you all know, if you're safe, you'll get a box. Oh, there's seven boxes, so both won't get one. Just 15 votes. Shieldy, you're safe. I guess he's not at the area. Really? Awesome! Safe with 24 votes is pizza. And safe with 28 is hot dog. Good. How is yeah, hot dog in box? Hey! <laughs> Oops, sorry, bad aim. <laughs> safe with 40 votes is Shelly. You're really improving, Echo hey. 6. With 62 votes, Chocolatey, you're safe. You realize how yeah. Hot Dog never caught safe a box with before? Votes is party hat. Now it sounds yeah. Baguette and Slurpee, just like in my fanfic. So, we're down to Slurpee and Baguette. Let's see who will be eliminated next. I already know who's gonna be. Because of the wiki. Votes. Baguette is the last one safe. With 208, Slurpee, you've been eliminated. Come, Jeepers. What? I can't be going now. No, the Slurpee! <laughs> Don't worry, Shelly. I'm rooting for you. Win for me. Say, how much do you know about castles? Huh? Why do you ask? Oh, because she's about to go into one? Okay, then. You can all open your boxes now. Hmm, a flashlight. Hey, they got flashlights too. Wait, I what? I got a maze-looking thing. I'll 
need a pen or something for this. Looks like they're all familiar. All right, now that that's over, I say we have ourselves a little party. <laughs> a party? Oh, let me help you get set up. We'll need decorations, food, games, <coughs> No, when I say a little party, I mean a little party. Happy anniversary and 10th episode of Brawl of the Objects. <coughs> there, party's over. Aw. So, let me start explaining the next challenge, finally. First of all, you'll be competing in teams of two for this episode. Wow. That's good. Oh, that was easy. Hold it. I've already chosen the pairs. <gasps> what? Oh, seriously? Hey, I do what I want. Anyways, I've partnered you all up with people I feel you haven't interacted with yet. So you won't be with your friends, but you also won't be with your enemies. The pairs for this challenge oh. are as follows. Okay. Shelly and Pizza, Shieldy and Chocolatey, Party Hat and Baguette, and Hot Dog and Boat. Now that you all know who your partners will be, let me explain the actual challenge. For this challenge, you'll all have to go into an ancient cave, and it won't be Same bright, music so be sure time. to keep your flashlight. Does Pizza have one? While watching where you're going, you'll have to watch your backs. And does Boat have one because she wasn't at the eliminated tracks? Your main objective will be to retrieve a lost relic in the cave. Well, it looks like a box, but it's what's inside that's the valuable part. Whatever I guess do, that's though, why they're not together. Or you'll have to face the unspeakable consequences. Is it kind of like Pandora's box? The first team that can get out of the cave with the relic will win. But here's the twist. Both members get immunity, while the other six will be put up for elimination. Wow. Oh, I get it now. So my prize is the map of the cave? Exactly. But I haven't marked where the entrance is or where the treasure is located. Darn. <laughs> Anyways, if I have any advice for you, expect the unexpected while you explore the cave. Start. Later, after everyone went so far in the cave, they've lost any sign of the natural light source. But, you hey, have flashlights. Hey, so far in the cave, you've lost any sign of the natural light source. No kidding! Wow, this place really is old looking. Darkest yeah, town. really cool. Oh, darn, I just realized we only have one flashlight. Oh, great, we only have one, too. At least we have the map! Arrêtez-vous de faire votre niaiserie, on fait des défis. C'est moi, je vous fait. Huh? Where are we going? What nonsense. Whoa, really, where are we going? <laughs> On va aller dans la première. Baguette, wait up! <laughs> hey, Shieldy, which one do you think we should go in? Eeny, meeny, miny. No, no, we need to choose carefully. Do you have a coin we can flip? Where do you think we are on the map? Uh... Here about? Sure, and you want to try the fourth cave? Okay. I'm really wondering what this is, because Beard Two is so original, I can hardly feel okay. like it. Well, want to go in the second? Nobody else has. All right, let's go. Baguette, you seem pretty confident about this. Have you explored caves before? Mm. Ah, mon ami, je sais beaucoup de l'exploration des caves. Est-ce que je n'ai jamais raconté les histoires de mon père avec <laughs> about Pear? No! His father! It sure is dark in here! You don't think there's any monsters here, right? No, there isn't! No, no. Wait, monsters? Shelly, there's no such thing as monsters, but you really should watch out for the hungry bat name from the cave ceiling or other nocturnal creatures in a dark place like this. They can be pretty good. <gasps> did you say that? So, did she see anything interesting here? Oh. And I'll Not have to really. stop Anna Cam in a minute because of the ten minute time limit. I must warn you. Man, I wonder how long this cave goes. I don't know, but it'll have to end sometime. You know, you'd expect there to be an end, but Control is said to expect the unexpected, so what if there isn't an end? Well, I don't know how that'd be possible. Sorry about that. To turn a report into a cave somewhere. Do you think we'll hit a dead end? Don't even say that out loud. What? Why not? We'll jinx it? <gasps> Just like Slurpee jinxed it. What is jinxing it? You know, if we didn't have this language barrier, I think I'd like to get to know you a little bit better. Wait, hasn't Bo been learning French from you? Oui, mais j'apprends l'anglais from all that mom. Okay, I realize I shouldn't have asked. Uh-oh. Arrêtez! Chapeau de bête, tu dois être plus prudent dans une caverne comme ceci. Tu pouvais te faire blesser! 
ici, mon père, la dignité, on aura pas de problème de réfléchir des gens de savoir sur les pièges. Okay, sure. I didn't say I haven't really I reacted. I think you should familiarize yourself with the map. Do you recognize any landmarks or paths? Hmm, well, could that be the entrance to the cave? Yeah, it might actually. Okay, let's retrace our steps. If we came in that way, then we went down a long path and made a few turns. Yeah, that's looking about right so far. What on earth is that? Hey, uh, Shieldy, is that writing on the wall? Hey, yeah, well, what does it say? Oh... Baguette can read that. Hmm, it's some kind of ancient language. Oh. I think I can give a close translation. Okay, go for it. No advanced pastel gauge. No tree treasure east catch. <laughs> Econ bad attacker situated involuntarily. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, don't bring pastels or trees with you. The treasure is on the east. Catch it. Watch out for an underpaid guard. I think by getting party hat oh, one to this one and refresh her. Because it's French. I really wish we had another spot. Hey, you can't be sorry for winning the last challenge, can you? Well, I mean, if I did get one, it would be so much better. Oh, is anybody oh, there? there? <laughs> Who is that? Since they all went to different caves, I don't expect that to be other contestants. Hey, uh... Who are you two? Oh, uh, allow us to introduce ourselves. We're mining hat twins, so we just call ourselves pink and purple. Alright then, but what brings you down here? Oh, we were actually looking for the treasure in this cave, but some weird rock monster didn't scare us off, and now we're lost. You know the way out? Um... No, sorry, but there are also other people who came in the cave with us. They might remember. There's more of you? Okay then, thanks. See you around. It's a bit concerning that we don't know the way back, don't you think? Um. Ah, je souviens de mes histoires d'aventure de cabin quand mon père racontait avoir quand j'étais jeune. Okay, why are you mentioning Pear so much? I want to hear an answer. He's mentioning his father, not Pear! Tu pensais que tu poserais jamais des questions? What? Ah, mon père, toi ça, vive dans le monde. <laughs> he told stories from his father in the first episode, remember? Sometimes. Anthony didn't kill at least. I do? 
But why do you always put yourself in the mirror? Get out of the way! Whoa, that was a close one. Thanks for saving us. No problem. Well, I guess we'll be on our way then. Wait, are you sure you want to go back? Come on, what's the worst that could happen? Hey, look at that! Il y a de l'écriture française au mur. Oh, hey, Reddit. Chilling chocolate used to be here. N'avancez pas à la gauche. Notre trésor est caché là. Et on va t'attaquer si tu es un voleur. Notre trésor est à la gauche. Suivez-moi, chapeau de paix. Hey! Notre trésor. C'est juste là. Allons-nous, vitement. Um, Baguette, are you sure about this? <laughs> don't open it! Control yourself, don't open it! Uh. Whoa, what the heck is going on here? Hey, are you under pain? <laughs> Alright, the distracted, go! How can hey, you who are you? And, and what are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, this too sweet, innocent twin, passing by in a cage, surrounded by rock monsters, nothing out of the ordinary. You know what? I don't even see a point in hiding it anymore. You see, the box is not even the real treasure of this cage. Me and my sister already got it. Hey, uh, you want to quiet down. We brought that old thing down to this place like this, so maybe the rock guys wouldn't notice. Shh. And after hearing about your composition, we figured it might actually have some value. So we came back to get it. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. Hey, shush. Oh, ha, ha, ha. How many of them are here? Ah! Oh, that means yeah, yeah. At least it's not us. Wait, one of them is missing. Don't open it! I think there's nothing in it now. Whoa, wait up! Later. Well, it looks like our contestants are nearly done. Who will come out first? Which team will win? Who will we? Yes. Who's on the gun, you Oh, well, dear, I how I missed you. So, it looks like Party Hat and Baguette have won. But you didn't look inside, did you? Not even a peek. Alright, let's see if it's still intact. Is that the grand prize? Perfect. I can finally drink my morning coffee. I've been waiting all day for this. Hold on, so we adventured in that cave, we're nearly attacked by giant rock monsters, and we put our lives on the line for a cup of coffee? You know, when you put it like that, it sounds a lot worse. But I just call it good ratings. Anyways, to the voting! Vote off any of the contestants up for elimination. Voting ends April 7th. Stay tuned for episode 11. Yes, there are no more deadlines. Oh... And I want to stop the video again now. Good thing it's not playing. Let's see now. Um. Well. Pizza and hot dog are cool. Shieldy is young. And I guess so is Shelly. And. If I were to pick between Chocolate and Boat. I would say Boat. Because. As you may think before, Hot Dog and Chocolatey are a couple, so they shouldn't be separated after Popsicle and Chocolatey were separated. So, let's scroll down. I... Huh. Um, okay, now that that's done, let's see the epilogue. Your mother voiced someone?
And who's Katie again? I'm not sure. Anyways, the epilogue is about to come. Yes, we're finally out. I can't believe we're actually... Oh no... Anyways, that was the awesomest episode ever, and I can hardly even keep track of it now. And I'm so proud you're about to start Flash, and, you know, I really wish I could be as good a writer as you for BFIS. I wish I could be... So creative, people could hardly believe my episode before it came out. And I wish I had Flash now that you're starting to use it. Oh, this brings me a question. I noticed that the screens of your episodes... Do not have numbers on them for the episodes. And this is one of the few object shows like this. Are you going to put the episode numbers in the thumbnails now? Maybe making your own fan picture too that isn't part of the video? Well, anyways. I will stay tuned for episode 11, and it's sad that it doesn't have a deadline, but thanks for watching this reaction, everyone. <laughs>